welcome to Only Connect, the quiz show where innovative lateral thinking will win the day. The object of the game is to deduce the hidden connections between a confusing array of elements from ancient Rome to modern Britain with a few detours in between. I'm joined by two teams with plenty of experience in creating order when it comes to figures, but how will they do with all the other elements on show tonight? Let's meet the bankers and the bookkeepers. Let's say hello, first of all, to the captain of the bankers. I'm David Churchill, I live in Leicestershire and I work for a bank. And this is Rosemary. I'm Rosemary Redhead, I also live in Leicestershire, work for the same bank. And this is Michael. Michael Jack, again from deepest Leicestershire and again work for a bank. So I should assume that uh, maths and business are strong areas for you in the quiz? We hope so. <laughs> Would you admit to any weak areas? No. Why should you at this stage? It can't help to show weakness. Let me go over to the captain of the bookkeepers. And I'm Ray Ward, originally from Sheffield. I now live in London and I'm a librarian. And this is Anne. I'm Anne Kelly from Flittick in Bedfordshire and I'm a researcher. And this is Quentin. I'm Quentin Holt from Kingston-upon-Thames and I am a tax advisor. What happened to you being bookkeepers? I think we all had something to do with books. I'm a librarian, I look after books. Uh, Anne's a researcher, she's also got lots of books of home, as I can testify. Quentin does a bookkeeping of a different kind. You cook the books. Um, I couldn't <laughs> possibly say that on national television. <laughs> You're simply a tax advisor. I am. <laughs> so it's a pun, the bookkeeper's very clever, but which of these two teams will be returning for the quarterfinals? Only one way to find out, by playing a quiz. So round one, you will see in front of you a board of six Greek letters. Behind each letter is a series of four clues and I want to know what connects them. If you're clever enough to tell me that after seeing only one clue, I'll give you five points. If you see two clues, I'll give you three points. If you see three clues, I'll give you two points. And if you do it after seeing all four clues, you get one point. But if you guess incorrectly or you run out of time before giving an answer, I'll throw it to the other team for a possible bonus point. Now. Bookkeepers, I believe you won the toss and elected to go first. Please select your Greek letter. We'll start with uh, Delta, please. OK, I shall show you the first clue behind Delta. If you want another one, just shout next. Your time starts now. Mm, oh. He was the US president who was assassinated. Yeah, 1890... 1901, I think. So we, no, 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 18... It could be a misleading. Next. Oh. Trains or st railway stations. They happened on railway stations. They are all things which happened at railway stations. Your third clue was going to be Homeward Bound, written, mm -hmm. because uh, Paul Simon wrote Homeward Bound at Widnes okay. Railway Station. And the last one, Ernest Worthing, from the importance of being earnest, found in a handbag at Victoria Station. Very good. After just two clues, you get... Three points. So, bankers, pick a letter, please. Gamma, please. Gamma. First clue coming up, and I can tell you that this is going to be a picture round. Time starts now. California. California. Right. Next. Next, please. Oh. Oh, Einstein. Einstein. And he ended up living in California. Oh, California, yeah. Einstein. Yeah, I think so. Do you want to go for the next one? Or do we guess there? Shall we have a guess? What yes. do you think, Michael? Let's okay. guess. The elements of the periodic table are named after them. That is exactly correct. They are things which have lent their names to elements in the periodic table. That's California, Californium, Einsteinium, Uranium and Plutonium is what you hadn't yet seen. All radioactive elements. And you also managed to get that after just two clues, so three points to you as well. Back to the bookkeepers to choose a letter. Beta, please. Beta, your first clue is coming up. Time starts now. Well, it could be anything. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think we need another. Next, one. please. Still, haven't got. No. Next, please. Hmm. Any idea? No. Yeah. No. Thanks. Next, please. Ten seconds remaining. Three seconds. You're out of time, so I'm going to throw it over to the bankers for a possible bonus point. They're all connected by flash. 
absolutely right. You can put the word flash before all in flash, Harry flash, Gordon flash, flood flash, yeah. photography. For no bonus points, anybody wants to tell me which conductor is nicknamed Flash Harry? Malcolm Sergeant. It is Malcolm Sergeant, although it, it could be any of them, couldn't it, really? <laughs> They're all a bit flash. So, bankers, time for your own letter selection. Epsilon, please. Epsilon, first clue coming up. Time starts now. Posters. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Goddesses. Let's have the next one. Next, please. Brownie guides. So, things published by somebody. Oh, uh, brownie guides. So, like, observer books. Yeah, of, of this, that and the other, yes. Right. Should we have another one? Yes. Next, please. Florence Nightingale. Oh, stamps. It could be, yes. I can't think of anything else. Yeah, should we buzz? Yes. They're postage stamps? That is a very decent guess. But isn't that a bit like a fortune teller saying, I, I sense you're going through a period of turmoil? I mean, it <laughs> sort of applies to all answers. I'm not saying you're necessarily wrong, but if you look, they also they all have E's in their names. I can't accept they've all been on stamps. It is too broad. It is not the neat, precise hidden connection I'm looking for, so I'm going to throw it over to the bookkeepers for a possible bonus point. The last okay. clue is Harry Potter. Owls. Oh, yeah. We think about uh, owls. Owls connection. Owl connection they are owls. all known to be accompanied by, by owls. owls. The goddess mm. Athena or Minerva to the Romans is often depicted with an owl. The brownies, of course, go nowhere without brown owl. Florence Nightingale had a pet owl, funnily enough, called Athena, which was stuffed when she died and sold for a large sum of money. And Harry Potter... Who could forget Hedwig? So that's a bonus point to you, bookkeepers. And now you may choose your own letter. Alpha, please. Alpha. Good, strong choice. Your first clue is coming up. Time starts now. Uh, pop festival. Pop festival. Yeah. Snoopy characters. Yeah, just... <laughs> Snoopy characters. Yeah. Um, <laughs> next. Blenheim Palace. Uh, uh, yeah, it's. it's um, I don't press a button, but it's going to be locations of um, stately homes, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Do you want to go for it? Yeah. It would, and in Paris, it's at Woodstock, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Kenilworth is there. Yeah, they're locations of palaces or stately homes. Oh, I'm afraid you've fallen into our little trap, Mr Ward. Woodstock and Kenilworth are both castles, but if we look at the next two clues, Guy Mannering uh, and the Heart oh, of Midlothian, yeah. you'd have to be mad to call a castle Guy Mannering. <laughs> Let me throw it over to the bankers yeah, to see if they the can Walter spot Walter the Walter connection. Scott, isn't it? Kenilworth is. Kenilworth. Walter Scott. They are novels of Sir Walter Scott. Sorry, Sir Walter Scott. You happen to know the name of his, uh, his first novel? I have a name. I have anyway, a name. I can tell you it was called Waverley. That's why yeah. Sir Walter Scott's novels are often referred to as the Waverley novels. But very good, Bankers. A bonus point to you. So, it's not really a choice I'm offering you here, uh, Zeta, please. Why don't you take Zeta? And I can tell you that this is going to be a musical oh, round. So, so instead of seeing the clues, you'll be hearing them. Works just the same. Shout next if you want to hear the next clue. Same amount of time, same points available. Your time starts now. Tchaikovsky. Sorry. Capriccio Italian. Don't, Don't know. Next. next, please. Seven days was all she wrote. Sting. Yeah. Please. It's Sting on his own. Seven. Is it? Next, please. Hawaii five o. No. Uh, Mission Impossible. Mission Impossible. I'm not going to this no. at all. Next. Next, please. Five seconds remaining. Take five. Take five. No. Oh, not five. Ooh, with one second to go. The number five? What about it? We think it's... Tchaikovsky's Fifth Symphony. Take five by Dave Brubeck. I'm afraid that is not the correct oh. answer, so I'm going to throw it over to the bookkeepers. Possible bonus, um, but you have to tell me money. quickly. Connected mm. with numbers. Uh, they're connected with... Numbers in general. Numbers in general. No, I'm afraid you've wandered even further away from the right answer. I must say, man, because I thought you were going to get it, but no, it's that they are all written in 5-4 time. time. They've got yeah. five beats Should the bar. Out. You've heard... Tchaikovsky Symphony No. 6, Pathétique, Seven Pathetic Days by Sting. The theme from Mission Impossible by anybody? Theme from Mission Impossible? Lalo Schifrin. Lalo Schifrin. Very mm. good, very good. And lastly, as you said, Take Five, performed by the Dave Brubeck Quartet. So the scores at the end of round one, the bankers have got five points and the bookkeepers have got four points.
Let's move on to round two. Seems the natural thing to do after round one. And the level of difficulty goes up another notch. This time, there are still four clues. You still have to work out the connection. But having done so, I want to know what's fourth. If you can tell me that after seeing just one clue, I'll give you five points. If you do it after two clues, you get three points. After three clues, you get two points. But you will not be seeing four clues because I need you to tell me what the fourth clue is. Bookkeepers, please pick a letter. You pick one up. Uh, gamma, please. Gamma, gamma. Please. The first in a sequence is about to be revealed. I can tell you this is a picture question, so I will want to know what you'd be expecting to see in the fourth picture. Your time starts now. Just a gate portcullis. Portcullis, yeah. The design's on coin. Oh, yeah. I think it needs to be yeah. next, though. Yeah. Next? Yeah, it's a flirt. Probably a feathers. Yeah. It's one yeah. P, two P. Yeah. What's next? P, two P. One P, what's under ten P? This one. This one. What's under ten P? Ten P. Ten seconds remaining. Ten P is settled, isn't it? Uh, do, 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 do send it. No. Five seconds now. Or is it a lion? A lion. Oh, I'm afraid you failed to press your buzzer in time. So I'm going to go over to the bankers to see if they want to have a guess at what's fourth in the sequence. We think it's a lion because we think they are the obverse of a coin and it would be a one p a two pence a five pence and then the, we think on the other side of a ten pence piece there's a lion very sporting of you to spell out your thinking there your reasoning is absolutely correct this is what's on the reverse of the coin of course the front of the coin is her majesty's head on the reverse it is a portcullis ostrich feathers a thistle and a lion very unlucky there bookkeepers who just didn't quite press the buzzer in time so it's a bonus point to the bankers and you may now choose your own letter zeta please zeta the first in the sequence is about to be revealed what's fourth is what i want to know time starts now right would be cluedo that things. wouldn't be able to sequence that so it's unlikely to be right, next okay. have the next one next please oh it's on Hitchcock, Hitchcock films. films, yeah. I don't but know what these sequences are. But then there's, looks like a... Next, please. The man who knew too much. Ooh. I don't know what it would be. Beds. It would be anything. We've got plenty of time, though. No? Right, there were Hitchcock, rear window. Marnie. What other elements were there? Hitchcock. North by North by North Just North five North seconds North remaining, North bankers. North North Marnie. Ooh, just in time again. We'll try Marnie, please. That is not the answer I'm looking for, so I'm going to throw it over to the bookkeepers if they want no. to have a guess. We've searched a several Hitchcock films and we think it's Vertigo. Why do you think it's Vertigo? It's been Just... one of the only two we can think of that were around about that period. If only I could give you bonus points for honesty. As it is, I can give you one point for Vertigo, which is the correct answer, and the reason is that they are all Alfred Hitchcock films starring James Stewart oh. in the order in which they were made. Good job we didn't say Psycho, didn't we? Just as well. <laughs> so, bonus point to you there, bookkeepers, and you can choose your own Greek letter. You choose one. Beta. Beta, please. The first is coming up. What's fourth? Time starts now. Yeah. I think we need a next. Next. Oh, these, these are um, consorts. Consort. George Denmark's consort of Anne. Don't, don't, don't. No, no I'm not going to press <laughs> no, no, no. Um, Who's after Anne? George I, George II. Is that, yeah, is that how it goes? Yeah. And who is it? George II. Uh, who, who was George II's wife? No. no. Was that next? Um, yeah, let's just say. Next. Ten please. seconds. Oh, no, it's, it's oh, female. Yeah. No, it's not. It's, it's Prince Philip. I'm afraid you've hit the button. Prince Philip. Why would it be Prince Philip? Oh, male uh, consorts co of female uh, monarchs. Technically, it is the last four princes who married British queens, and we were referring to him rather properly as Philip of Greece, but I will accept that answer, as I would have accepted Philip Mountbatten, Prince Philip. So that's two points to you, and bankers, your turn to pick a letter. Alpha, please. Alpha, OK, you're about to see the first in the sequence. What comes fourth? Time starts now. Book of the Dead. 
could be anything. Next. Next, please. At the beginning of... This could be one of these logical... It could be, or it could be... Starts. Starts a box, yeah. I need Next, clue. Next, please. The, oh, dear. In the beginning was the word. The beginning was... Are yeah. they, are they, um, are they the start of passages I, of the Bible? I don't know. I need another clue. Three yeah, seconds. In the beginning? Now, why would that be? We think they might be the first lines of books of the Bible. They are the beginnings of the Gospels. In the King James Bible, Matthew begins the book of the generation of Jesus Christ. Mark, the beginning of the Gospel of Jesus Christ. Luke, for as much as many have taken in hand. And John, of course, is the famous one. In the beginning was the word. So, two points to you. And we're going back to the bookkeepers to make a selection. Delta, please. Delta, first in the sequence is coming up. What's fourth? Time starts now. Saints Day. Yeah. Yeah, but I wouldn't. I think it's a bit of a gamble. Yeah. Uh, next. Yeah, Saints Day. Well, we need, yeah, but we need to work out what it is. Uh, so, so March is Saint David, isn't it? March the first is Saint David. March yeah. the first is Saint David. March the seventeenth is Saint George. Saint George. Saint George. Saint Andrew. It's it's the thirtieth. Yeah. 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 November the 30th. Why? St Andrew's Day. How would that fit into the sequence? March the 1st is St David's Day, March the 17th is St Patrick's Day. I'll hazard a guess that the next one is the 23rd of April, which is St George's Day. You have hazarded a brilliant guess. The answer is November the 30th. That is St Andrew's Day. They're the commemoration dates of the patron saints of Wales, Ireland, England and Scotland in the order they fall throughout the year. So, three points to you for getting it after two clues. Bankers. I can't offer you a wide choice at this point. <laughs> Epsilon, what would you like? please. Epsilon. I think you should go for Epsilon. The first in the sequence is coming up. Time starts now. Oh, it's time. Oh, I know. It's Mel's Trap. Oh, right. So what's fourth? I can't remember this. Oof. Uh, the cage goes over mouse. Cage yes. goes in. Right. Bath. Do you want to? I don't... Remember this at all? I mean, the cage does go over the last. That's the last thing. Yes. Is there a step well, before you're that? Do, do what you want to do? Take the gamble. Yes, yes. Let's take the gamble. We think the answer is cage goes over mouse. <laughs> I'm finding it hard to give you a straight face, because this is my favourite clue ever in this game. And to my absolute amazement, you've got it after just one. The sequence is ball hits diving board, board catapults diver, diver falls into wash tub, cage captures mouse. And for anyone at home who doesn't have any idea what we're talking about... It's a, a game called Mousetrap, which I never had as a child and always, always wanted. It is the sequence in the game of Mousetrap, devised by Marvin Glass, who also invented Operation. Mm. Arguably the greatest game of all time. You take out the funny bone with a pair of tweezers. <laughs> Magnificent. Well done indeed, bankers. Five points there, very rarely achieved in that round. So, looking at the scores at the end of round two, the bankers have got 13 points and the bookkeepers have got 10 points. <laughs> So, on to round three and the beautiful intricacy of the connecting wall. You'll now see 16 clues, which I want you to sort into four complete groups of four. Be careful, some of the clues fit into more than one group, but there is only one complete correct solution. Now, bankers, this time you get to go first and you get to choose which wall you want, alpha or beta. I'll give you one point for each group that you can correctly identify and at the end there'll be bonus points if you can tell me what the connections are. So, Alpha or Beta? Beta, please. OK. The Beta wall will be coming up in a moment. You've got two and a half minutes, and they start now. Oh, dear, right. Butterflies. Um, in peacock. Types Scarlet. of yellow. What's white, gold, yellow wall? Mm. Strange types Jungle. of... Jungle. Particles. Hey, hope. Types of red. We need to get oh, started. I know. They're um, people in... In the game. Cluedo. Cluedo. So yes, could be for that. Plumber, but there's a number okay. of them. It could be... Um, mustard. mustard. Peacock. It could be scarlet or white. Or I'll peacock. try. Try that. 
Peacock and Scarlet. No, no. That's not a group. So what oh, could white. the other be? Does mustard go with anything? Mustard Peacock, goes. does that go with the... No, it doesn't go with anything else. Try that. 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 No, no. That's not a group. I think it's mustard that's not. Can we try that okay. before? OK, no, I'm try that. Ooh. That's not a group. No. And select that one. Plum. Peacock. Because we're curling mustard, is it obvious? Not oh, a group. Right. right. Mm. What's in there? Mm. Jungle. God, it's, oh, you keep thinking about that, and I'll try and work this one. You are halfway through the allotted time. Plum. White. Mustard. Peacock. That's well, a group. Well done. Well done. So, um, Woods Fields. W.C. Fields. Um, hey, Will Bob Hay. Hope, Will Hay. Comedians. Comedians, Hope. Hay. Fields. Fields. Woods. Victoria. No, I think... Uh, yeah, try it. I don't think Victoria it'd be, Woods. Uh, no. That's not a group. Ma Wall? Max yeah, Wall? Max Wall. Mm. Bob Hope, Will Hay. W.C. Fields. Mm. Yes, crazy Fields. Yes. Gold, yellow, Woods, Watson. Jones. Is there a Watson College? Yellow Strange. Hammer, what's Hammer Charm. Strange? Less than a minute Box. remaining and only three guesses Gold. available. Yellow, Scarlet and Rose, try those. Three strikes oh, no. and you're Golfers. out. Golfers. Golfers. Watson, Rose. Woods, Rose. Rose. And can't be a jungle. Is there a Gold or a try Scarlet? It. No. That's not a group and oh, the time's ticking down. Strange. Oh, Watson's a golfer, Tom yes. Watson. Just a few Rose. seconds now. You've solved the connecting walls with just a couple of seconds to go. So four points for all four groups. And I will give you some bonus points if you can tell me the connections. White, Mustard, Plum, Peacock. Are all characters from... Cluedo. Cluedo. Cluedo for an extra point. Wall, Fields, Hope, Hay. We think are comedians. Or... Max. Comedic yes. people. I need you to be a little bit Standard more specific. Um, Vic, uh, Vic, uh, musical slapstick. I'll give you that. It's early 20th century Something. comedian. Yes. So Max Wall, W.C. Field, Bob Hope, and Will Hay. Next group: Woods, Rose, Strange, Watson. Are all golfers? They're all golfers. I'll have to read their names because I know nothing <laughs> about golf and I care even less. Tiger Woods, Justin Rose, Tom Watson, Curtis Strange. And the last group, Gold, Yellow, Jungle, Scarlet. Are all Fevers. They are all Fevers. Well so, four points for the groups, four points for the connections, a bonus two for getting it all right. You've scored the maximum ten points. Thank you. Fantastic round there for the bankers. How will the bookkeepers respond? Let's make a fresh connecting wall and give them a go. No choice for you, bookkeepers. It will be the alpha wall. All the same rules apply. Beware the clues that fall into more than one category. There's only one perfect solution. So, you've got two and a half minutes, and the time starts now. OK. Uh, what types of missile? Hatred, cruise, trident, and sidewinder. I see not, not a group. Um, the snakes? Sidewinder. Yeah. Uh, Coral. Grass. Grass. That's a group. That's good. Uh, let's see. Have we got Canterbury Tales? Uh, Knight, Plet Reeve, Plet Cook and Miller. Yep. Miller. That's a group. Now, with only two groups remaining, three Combrey. strikes and you're out. Okay. Okay. Select with right. care. Select. Don't do it yet. Playwrights, yeah. Congreve. Yeah, Congreve. Coward. Coward. Hare and Coon. And Cooney, OK. A quarter of the allotted time. Very well done. So that's four points. And you'll get another point for each connection that you can give me. So the first group, Coral, Adder, Sidewinder, Grass. Snakes. They're all snakes for one point. Reeve, Cook, Knight, Miller. Cannot Or Syrian characters, exactly. The next group, Cooney, Hare, Coward, Congreve. Playwrights. Playwrights, exactly. Ray Cooney, Sir David Hare, Noel Coward and William Congreve. And the last group, Hawk. Cruise, Trident, Patriot. Missiles. missiles. They are all missiles. Can you tell me why the Patriot is called the Patriot? Uh, not too sure. Mm, no. 
Its full name is the Phased Array Tracking Radar to Intercept of Target. Mm, not supposed oh. to be a rocket uh, mm. buff, and I didn't know that. Well, it doesn't matter because you got four points for the groups, four points for the connections, a bonus of two for getting it all right, so that's a maximum of ten points. Let's see where that leaves the overall scores at the end of round three. The bankers have 23 points and the bookkeepers have 20 points. So it's very close and it will all be decided in the fourth and final round, the missing vowels round. This time I'll give you the connections, but you've got to decipher the clues. We've taken well-known names or phrases like only connect, we've whipped out the vowels and then we've squidged them together in bedeviling clusters. Can you tell me what the names and phrases are? I'll give you one point for each that you get right. If you get it wrong or hesitate unduly, I'll throw it to the other side for a bonus. Fingers on the buzzers then, and I can tell you that the first group of four names or phrases are all dog breeds. Bookkeepers. Pointer. Correct, one point. Bankers. Too long, I'm afraid. I'm throwing it to the bookkeepers. No good. The answer is too late oh. Afghan hound. Bookkeepers? Red, red setter. I'm afraid not to the bankers for a guess. Irish terrier. Yes, it is. One point. Bookkeepers? Holding a shoot dog. Yes, it is. One point. The next group are all furniture designers. Too long. It's Arnie Jacobson. Next clue. Not hot on your furniture. This one's Eileen Gray. Next clue. This guy, you must know. Bankers? Corbusier. I can't accept it. I'm going to the bookkeepers. Le Corbusier. Yes, it is. The words are very important in this round. One point to the bookkeepers. Not going to get this one either. Marcel Breuer. The next group are all Winston Churchill quotations. Bookkeepers. Blunt. No, sorry. Too much hesitation to the bankers. <laughs> We're out of time. That last quote was, this was their finest <laughs> hour. But I don't think I can say that for either of you, team, <laughs> when it comes to round four. Not a strong round for either of you. So the final scores are the bookkeepers with 23 points, but the bankers with 24 points. So we will be seeing you in the quarterfinals, and you, I'm afraid, it's back to the books. And we hope that you will join us next time when two more teams line up to settle their differences in dubious battle, not on the plains of heaven, but upon the undulating field of warfare that is only connect. Till then, goodbye. <laughs>With the unknowable and multiple possible solutions, it seems that the science of maths is getting less and less precise. Marcus de Sotoy investigates next tonight on BBC Four in the final episode of The Story of Maths. Welcome to Only Connect, the quiz show where innovative lateral thinking will win the day. The object of the game is to deduce the hidden connections between a confusing array of elements from ancient Rome to modern Britain with a few detours in between. I'm joined by two teams with plenty of experience in creating order when it comes to figures, but how will they do with all the other elements on show tonight? Let's meet the bankers and the bookkeepers. Let's say hello, first of all, to the captain of the bankers. I'm David Churchill, I live in Leicestershire and I work for a bank. And this is Rosemary. I'm Rosemary Redhead, I also live in Leicestershire, work for the same bank. And this is Michael. Michael Jack, again from deepest Leicestershire and again work for a bank. So I should assume that uh, maths and business are strong areas for you in the quiz? We hope so. <laughs> Would you admit to any weak areas? No. 
Why should you at this stage? It can't help to show weakness. Let me go over to the captain of the bookkeepers. Well, I'm Ray Ward, originally from Sheffield. I now live in London and I'm a librarian. And this is Anne. I'm Anne Kelly from Flittick in Bedfordshire and I'm a researcher. And this is Quentin. I'm Quentin Holt from Kingston-upon-Thames and I am a tax advisor. What happened to you being bookkeepers? I think we all had something to do with books. I'm a librarian, I look after books. Uh, Anne's a researcher, she's also got lots of books at home, as I can testify. Quentin does a bookkeeping of a different kind. You cook the books. Um, I couldn't <laughs> possibly say that on national television. <laughs> <laughs> You're simply a tax advisor. I am. <laughs> so it's a pun, the bookkeeper's very clever, but which of these two teams will be returning for the quarterfinals? Only one way to find out, by playing a quiz. So round one, you will see in front of you a board of six Greek letters. Behind each letter is a series of four clues, and I want to know what connects them. If you're clever enough to tell me that after seeing only one clue, I'll give you five points. If you see two clues, I'll give you three points. If you see three clues, I'll give you two points. And if you do it after seeing all four clues, you get one point. But if you guess incorrectly or you run out of time before giving an answer, I'll throw it to the other team for a possible bonus point. Now, bookkeepers, I believe you won the toss and elected to go first. Please select your Greek letter. We'll start with uh, Delta, please. OK, I shall show you the first clue behind Delta. If you want another one, just shout next. Your time starts now. Mm, oh. He was the US president who was assassinated. Yeah, 1890... 1901, I think. So yeah. we, no, 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 18... It could be a misleading. Next. Mm. Oh. Trains or st railway stations. They happened on railway stations. They are all things which happened at railway stations. Your third clue was going to be Homeward Bound, written, mm -hmm. because uh, Paul Simon wrote Homeward Bound at Widnes mm -hmm. Railway Station. And the last one, Ernest Worthing, from the importance of being Ernest, found in a handbag of Victoria Station. Very good. After just two clues, you get three points. So, bankers, pick a letter, please. Gamma, please. Gamma. First clue coming up, and I can tell you that this is going to be a picture round. Time starts now. California. California. Right. Next. Next, please. Einstein. California. Einsteinium. Yeah, I think so. Do you want to go for the next one? Do we guess there? Should we have a guess? What yes. do you think, Michael? Let's okay. guess. The elements of the periodic table are named after them. That is exactly correct. They are things which have lent their names to elements in the periodic table. That's California, Californium, Einsteinium, Uranium and Plutonium is what you hadn't yet seen. All radioactive elements. And you also managed to get that after just two clues, so three points to you as well. Back to the bookkeepers to choose a letter. Beta, please. Beta, your first clue is coming up. Time starts now. Well, it could be anything. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think we need another. Next, one. please. Still, I haven't got. No. Next, please. Hmm. Any ideas? No. Yeah. No. Thanks. Next, please. Ten seconds remaining. Three seconds. Yeah. You're out of time, so I'm going to throw it over to the bankers for a possible bonus point. They're all connected by flash. Absolutely right. You can put the word flash before all of them. Flash, Harry Flash, Gordon Flash, Flood Flash, yeah. photography. Yeah. For no bonus points, anybody wants to tell me which conductor is nicknamed Flash Harry? Malcolm Sargent. It is Malcolm Sargent, although it, it could be any of them, couldn't it, really? <laughs> They're all a bit flash. So, bankers, time for your own letter selection. Epsilon, please. Epsilon, first clue coming up. Time starts now. Posters. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Goddesses. Let's have the next one. Next, please. Brownie guides. So, things published by somebody. Oh, brownie guides. So, like, observer books. Yeah, of, of this, that and the other, yes. Right. Should we have another one? Yes. Next, please. It's nice. Like, oh, stamps. It could be, yes. I can't think of anything else. Yeah, should we buzz? Yes. 
for postage stamps? That is a very decent guess, but isn't that a bit like a fortune teller saying, I, I sense you're going through a period of turmoil? I mean, it sort of applies to all answers. I'm not saying you're necessarily wrong, but if you look, they also they all have E's in their names. I can't accept they've all been on stamps. It is too broad. It is not the neat, precise, hidden connection I'm looking for. So I'm going to throw it over to the bookkeepers for a possible bonus point. The last okay. clue is Harry Potter. Owls. Oh, yes. We think they're uh, owls. Owls connect. Owl connection They are owls. all known to be accompanied by owls. owls. The goddess mm. Athena or Minerva to the Romans is often depicted with an owl. The brownies, of course, go nowhere without brown owl. Florence Nightingale had a pet owl, funnily enough, called Athena, which was stuffed when she died and sold for a large sum of money. And Harry Potter, who could forget Hedwig? So that's a bonus point to you, bookkeepers. And now you may choose your own letter. Alpha, please. Alpha. Good, strong choice. Your first clue is coming up. Time starts now. Pop festival. Pop festival. Yeah. Snoopy characters. Yeah, <laughs> Snoopy characters. Yeah. Um, Next. Blenheim Palace. Uh, uh, yeah, it's. it's um, I don't press a button, but it's going to be locations of um, stately homes, isn't it? Yeah. I, I was yeah. Do you want to go for it? Yeah. Blenheim Palace is at Woodstock, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Kenilworth is there. Yeah, they're locations of palaces or stately homes. Oh, I'm afraid you've fallen into our little trap, Mr Ward. Woodstock and Kenilworth are both castles, but if we look at the next two clues, Guy Mannering uh, and the Heart oh, of Midlothian, oh. you'd have to be mad to call a castle Guy Mannering. Let me throw it over to the bankers to see if they can spot the Walter connection. Scott, Kenilworth is. Walter Kenilworth. Scott. They are novels of Sir Walter Scott. Sorry, Sir Walter Scott. Do you happen to know the name of his, uh, his first novel? I have a name. Anyway? I have a name. I can tell you it was called Waverley. That's why yeah. Sir Walter Scott's novels are often referred to as the Waverley novels. But very good, Bankers. A bonus point to you. So, it's not really a choice I'm offering you here, uh, Zeta, Bankers. please. Why don't you take Zeta? And I can tell you that this is going to be a musical oh, round. Okay. So instead of seeing the clues, you'll be hearing them. Works just the same. Shout next if you want to hear the next clue. Same amount of time, same points available. Your time starts now. <laughs> 